Okay, well this is the BMW E39 we're going to be working on today. It's a 525 2002 5 Series. Um, as you'll see in a moment, we do have the dashboard warning lights showing on the, the dashboard of the vehicle. Um, so we'll go in there, take a look, and we'll get it diagnosed and get it fixed. Okay, so right now we're sitting in the vehicle, um, the 5 Series. Uh, 525M Sport E39 2002 model. Um, what I'm going to do is just switch on the engine. Um, initially, initially you will see a lot of um, dashboard warning lights come on but they will generally all go away. Um, you will see the lights which relate to the ABS sensor. Um, they will stay on and that basically indicates that there is a problem within the ABS system. So here we go. So as you can see, we have the ASC or DSC warning light here, that's the traction warning light. We have the, well this is the parking light in any case, this is the exclamation or the brake warning light. Um, brake warning light, if this came on alone, it would basically mean that um, there's a problem with the ABS system or you need to top up your brake uh, fluid and obviously this is the brake warning light itself um, so that's a sure indication that there is a fault within the ABS system um, what we need to do now is use a diagnostic code reader which covers the ABS system for the BMW E39 to actually diagnose the fault and find out exactly where the problem is occurring um, remember this vehicle has four ABS sensors so it could be either corner um, now although they're not that expensive to replace they're only about 20 pounds each um, you don't want to waste your time changing the wrong ABS sensor uh, so you want to make sure you get it right first time because sometimes they can be um, a little bit of a, a pain in the a pain in the backside to actually get out um, so yeah we'll, uh, we'll hook it up to a code reader and um, we'll uh, we'll see see where we are from then. Okay, so the tool we're going to use to diagnose the ABS light faults is the Launch CRP Professional. It's a CRP one two three is the model, um, and it's perfect for diagnosing any ABS faults, airbag faults, engine transmission faults. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go to diagnose. And we'll go to the scan function. Now we're in a BMW. So we're going to manually select the ABS system. Here we are. So it's ABS A C S D S C uh, Dynamic Stability Control. So we'll click OK to that. It's going to have a quick diagnosis of the system. So now it's allowing us to read any fault that may be occurring and there we have the fault there um, one a wheel speed sensor rear left transmits no signals so wheel speed sensor is the ABS sensor it's just another word for it um, and the rear left the the rear there obviously but well, that's the rear but the left hand side is the side is the left as you're sitting in the vehicle not as you're looking in the vehicle as you're actually sitting in the vehicle um, so it's clear that we need to uh, change the ABS sensor on the rear left that's a rear passenger because this is a right hand drive um, so we'll get that changed over and then we'll uh, we'll be able to basically we'll be able to just drive off and then the lights on the dashboard should automatically disappear. Uh, that's generally what happens because the system recognizes that the, uh, the there is a pulse being transmitted so it automatically knocks off the warning lights. Uh, so we'll change that over then we'll take it for a test drive. Okay so we'll have the wheel off and this is the ABS sensor. You see the cable there.
Uh, what you're probably going to want to do and need to do is remove this um, nut here. It's a 10 mil, and it just gives you a bit more access to in behind the ABS sensor. The ABS sensor just sits in behind this bit here. Um, so as you can see, we've, we've half pulled it out there anyway. Okay, so we're back in the vehicle now after having changed the ABS sensor. Uh, what we're going to do now is just turn on the engine. Now what you'll probably find is that the dashboard lights for the ABS will stay on initially, but once the, the vehicle starts rolling a little, uh, sometimes it can take up to 30 seconds or so, uh, the lights will go out uh, one by one. Um, but I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. So we're just starting the engine there. Well, in fact, on this particular occasion, uh, the lights have gone out straight away. Um, we're in a bit of a tight spot here, so that explains why I'm vigorously moving the steering wheel. But we will take it for just a little, a little drive, just to show that the lights have gone off and will stay off. Well, there we are driving as you can see. Now what you can do at this stage is plug your code reader back in um, because the fault codes that were there initially they will still be there and they do actually need clearing from the system well you don't need to clear them but if you want to make if you want to sort of give your vehicle a clear bill of health it makes sense to go in there and actually uh, just clear the, the fault codes There we go, so here's a little bit of information about where you can actually buy the ABS sensors from that we used and also um, the code reader itself where you can actually get that from that we used to diagnose the, uh, the ABS system. Uh, so thanks for watching this video. Okay, so this is the website where you need to go to get your ABS sensors for your BMW. Um, Dominator Auto Diagnostics. The web address is www.bavariandominator.co.uk uh, so if we scroll down here to the left hand side we have ABS sensors just need to select BMW then we need to select uh, the model which is a 5 series E39 and then here are the ABS sensors uh, that image isn't showing for some reason um, but Basically, these are the three ABS sensors that will probably need to be replaced. Um, quite good, these guys. You can actually just uh, contact them, send them a quick email if you're not exactly sure which uh, ABS sensor you need, and they'll put you straight pretty quickly. So, yeah, that's where you need to pick out the ABS sensor for your BMW. Okay, so the uh, the launch CRP kit that we use to diagnose the vehicle, uh, you can pick that up from Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com, um, and this is the homepage that we're actually on now. And as you can see here, it's uh, come up as one of the top sellers. So we'll just click into that. So this is the tool that you actually need um, to diagnose. There's a few videos here. Um, showing what it can do and the vehicles that it covers um, so that's the uh, it's an excellent tool that covers a lot of vehicles a lot of modules um, so there it is diagnostic world and it's the launch c reader crp one two three